Hey guys, so it is a sauna on here. I'd like a sauna. I have just arrived and finished a transaction to pick up an animal that I uh, put a deposit on and paid for months ago. Basically the moment it was born, I claimed it. I am super, super excited. I have gotten this animal from Alexa over at Supernova Exotics. Thank you so much again. But yeah, it's super hot in here so I'm gonna make this brief. I wanted to show you guys the animal that I got. This animal, this adorable little guy, I've decided. His name is Pingu. Without further ado, here's the gecko. I have him in a lunch bag here because we want to keep him cool and there's an ice pack wrapped in a towel. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is a lily white crested gecko. The lily white gene was first discovered in 2010 by Nick Lum, founder of Lily Exotics based out of the UK. After hatching out an unusually stunning white animal, he raised it to maturity, bred it, and to his surprise, found that the trait was co-dominant, with about half of the offspring being lily whites and the others not. The next thing was to attempt producing a dominant super form by breeding two lily whites together which produced a uniform white leucistic gecko that regrettably doesn't hatch or dies shortly afterwards. There is still a lot to learn about this gene and the variation of color and pattern you can get in your offspring when breeding the gene into various morphs. It's exciting to have this opportunity in crested geckos that allows the development of some beautiful color and pattern traits in animals using the gene. Special thanks to these geckos for sharing some of their footage with me. Can we just acknowledge this gorgeous gecko? I really wanted to get into lily whites because as it stands now, there are only two genetic morphs in crested geckos that are recognized, the, the lily white gene and the exanthic morph. So I'm really happy that I can, this really, I guess, motivated me to get back into crested geckos. And so this is Pingu, who obviously has a lot of growing to do. We don't even know the sex yet. But Pingu is doing awesome, clearly, and we're gonna let Pingu go and hide and make our way home. I'm about to make my one and a half hour drive trek home. So, more of Pingu soon. All right guys, so we just got home and this is Pingu. I am crossing my fingers that Pingu is a boy because for the sake of breeding that'll make things nice. We've got these awesome little water dishes made of uh, I guess clay that you put in the oven. Uh, so there's a water dish there, that's Alexa's design. And I've set up a second dish here with some Pangea fruit mix. And yeah, there you go. I'm gonna gently take him now, so he doesn't get stressed, but honestly, look at this little guy. Oh man, he's stunning. So, as he ages, he should get more and more and more white. That's what I've learned. So there you go, Pingu. Come on, buddy. There you go. All right. So, there you have it. This is Pingu, the lily white crested gecko. So once again, thank you so much, Alexa. I'm so excited to have Pingu in the collection and can't wait to give you guys updates on how he or she grows. There you go, Pingu. I'm gonna put the lid on and set him somewhere nice and calm to settle in. Maybe we'll try some crickets then tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching guys, and see you guys again soon.